Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I'm gonna be checking out a new track from the band Dissect. If you have not heard of this band, you have got to get on their discography. They are incredible. I have really been digging them more and more. The more I listen, every it was one of those bands where I had them in my library and I'd throw them into the playlist sometimes without really knowing what they sounded like. And then it would come on and it'd be one of those bands where I'd try to find my phone to see who it was. And that was what really got me listening. Like, all right, I need to intentionally listen to this band. So then when they reached out about a new single, of course I wanted to get a video sorted out. So thank you very much to the band for getting this over to me. I think I'll be posting it, judging by the time I'm filming it, a little bit later than I wanted to, but still close to release. So a big shout out to the band. I will link the music video in the description of this video. Other than that, I'm gonna stop talking and we are gonna get straight into it. With the death card merch. Those low some evil. Damn. Dissect Paralysis. Let's discuss. This is another track from them that will go right into the playlist for me. When it comes to favorites from them, Loose Ends has been my favorite. It was the first song I think I ever heard from them, and it has remained my favorite. But the more that I listen to them, the more I feel like there are some songs that I may love just as much and that I just need to keep listening to, to work that out. I'm not sure after just one listen, because I have been listening to them a bit lately, I'm not sure that I can put this up after one listen against said tracks, especially not Loose Ends, uh, but it does feel of that same quality. I love that they work with Lance. I feel like that's a great mix for them, especially when you look at bands like Alpha Wolf and what they bring to the table and their, their work with Lance, really. I, I think that that energy like i i wouldn't say that dissect and alpha wolf are the same by any means but they do bring some of the the same energy as well uh, when you look at the drop i think the line was something like better on my own still breathing or something that starts with better on my own uh, where it drops there that's exactly what i'm talking about like has a certain level of 
crunchiness to it that matches up with the vocals perfectly and I feel like that's something that you know when you're looking at styles and stuff that would be a, something that you can draw as a similarity between Alpha Wolf and a dissect but I really don't like to do too many like comparisons or I am not saying that they are doing the same thing or anything but I think when it comes to who they work with the sounds that they have some some stuff it's you know you draw similarities because it, it feels that way those drops are something that are big for me and I feel like with where this went vocally vocally it feels like top of the game those lows sounded absolutely evil and I loved it but you also have a lot of contrast to that you have a range here displayed and all of it sounds great uh, in terms of the instrumentation, love, love this breakdown. A low and slow breakdown, I don't think it's as, as simple for me as being like, oh, my favorite type of breakdown is this, because uh, it, it varies all over the place. It really can be opposites just right next to each other on a tiered list for me, but it's really about the approach, the quality, all of that stuff. Uh, the low and slow, though, is a big win for me. Typically, when you look at, like, the majority of what, like, gets me super excited with the breakdown, Low and slow is a great approach for to be a win for me, I guess, is the best way to say that. Uh, you could feel in the... Most of the song feels absolutely relentless, especially when you're looking at stuff like at the drop I was talking about. But you do get that moment where the breakdown is coming and you, you feel that build up, that shift, uh, where you're like, oh, oh I, know, I know what's about to happen. And they really delivered on that because sometimes the build up can like... And then it just drops and you're like, okay. That was fine. I'm not really, I'm not loving it, but with this one, it, it felt like it certainly delivered on that build, especially in a track that's like, I can't remember the exact runtime of this, but it's a shorter track. It's definitely meant to be a, an ass beater, aggressive, and it delivers on that. And you hear that, the intro riff, for example, that is, it's just a little bit wacky, but it works so well. I really love stuff like that. I feel like it brings something that sticks with you and your memory to the table, and that's really important, especially a band like Dissect that's getting their, their traction coming into the scene and stuff. Stuff like that is really memorable. And it's not that everything, too. I think something negative that the scene has kind of started to not necessarily, it's not like anyone's out here in a, a police uniform enforcing these things, but the, the energy and the expectations of things, it almost feels like everything is expected to be like a band's best song or the best song anyone's ever heard in the world every time anything comes out. And I don't at all want to make it sound like that's a necessity because there are a lot of really simple tracks, even from large bands. If you look at a band, a band like Sleep Token, they have some tracks that are I, I don't want to discredit them because Do You Wish That You Love Me is a big topic of conversation for me when it comes to Sleep Token because so many people didn't like that track very much. It doesn't feel like it builds to a whole lot, but there are choices made in that song. Like There are a lot of high harmonies that match up with the majority of the song, and when you look into the meaning, the reflection in the mirror, not smiling back and stuff, they have a very, very important role in that song, but a lot of people were looking for it to be like this you know, the summoning part two or something, I think, with a lot of the record, rather than, you know, just being able to appreciate what sometimes a simplistic approach can do. I don't think that this at all had it, but I just want to clarify that, like, I don't like the, the expectation that everything needs to be so, you know, over the top and crazy and the best thing ever, because it really doesn't. I think Do You Wish That You Love Me ended up being my most played, or at least my number two or three most played single. Uh, because sometimes you need something like that's, you know, a, a different approach or not so involved. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get too far into this because it, it actually has nothing to do with this song. But I just didn't want to make it sound like I'm holding this band to the expectations of needing to do that on every song. But that intro riff kicks ass, I suppose, is, is what I was going for. So a lot of really great stuff in instrumentation, vocals, like I said, sounding very polished. I think the... It's hard for me to comment on length of song for something like this because it often does feel for me um, like with a, a short and sweet ass beater like all right I'm gonna put this on at least twice every time I listen to it because I don't feel like I got a fill of what I wanted because I like this so much you know so it doesn't feel like it's necessarily fair to be like oh I wish this were longer because it, it doesn't feel really like it's missing anything uh, a lot of times with a shorter track that has like a chorus with singing or something it will feel a little weird for me because of, you know fitting it into like two minutes having that it can be very well done it just oftentimes I'm like oh I'm gonna put this on twice 
Uh, so the length would be something that I'd be like, oh, I, I could go for more of this, but it just comes down to me really enjoying the quality of the music. So very happy with this. Dissect is a band to keep your eye on for sure. Go through their discography if you have not yet. Uh, highly recommend it. I had heard about them a lot before I decided to as well, which was a mistake for me, but there's a lot of music, but this is definitely a band worth uh, doing some digging into. So at least listen, uh, yeah. Yeah, at least listen to Loose Ends. It's a great track. Anyway, I will link the music video I used in the reaction portion of this in the description. I'm having a hard time with words here for a second. I, I, yeah, nothing I would want different other than maybe some more song, but otherwise very happy with it. Breakdown is a huge win for me. And uh, yeah, just vocal approach. Let me know what you thought in the comments, what your favorite Dissect song is, if you are familiar with their discography. I will link all their social media, promotional links, all that good stuff in the description of this video. You'll also be able to find my link tree, which will have the Patreon, the Twitch, and the Discord server invite link. Anything you may need for my channel link-wise will be in that link tree. On Discord, that's where the community is based for my channel. We've got a lot of really wonderful music lovers in there. Just various conversation topics so if you're interested in joining checking that out that will be there on patreon everything i list in the tiers is what's offered on there i'm still planning i've started planning the uh, revamp offering more stuff in the tiers but i don't want to roll that out until i'm ready and like have some to post right away uh, so once i have that all sorted and a bit of backlog for it i'm going to update the tiers and there will be more offered there but for right now what's there is what's offered other than that twitch i'm going to be getting that going as well i am in the middle of, uh, we're going to be moving soon, I'm going to switch back to my old camera, my old PC, which is a great thing because the quality is great, uh, and I'll have a different background and stuff, and it'll just make things easier. This computer's CPU isn't great, so streaming hasn't been going excellent for me, uh, but that's going to be all changing soon, so if you want to stay uh, notified when I do go live on Twitch, I'll be doing a few times before I move as well, just to keep on uh, kind of familiarizing myself with streaming on Twitch. Uh, you can... Find the link in the description. If you follow, it should notify you when I am live. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.